that's the one. That that is that is the tone. It's the fucking stock. Uh, fifty-one fifty-three. Fucking stock. Insane. It's actually insane. So I wasn't gonna make a video on this. I wasn't gonna make a video at all this early in the year. However, sometimes there are things that fall into your lap that you just can't avoid. And this, the Quad Cortex, is one of them. I plugged it in, pressed around a couple presets, and found this. And so <laughs> that uh, sparked all of this. This video is basically just showing you what this is and how I plan to use it and how you can kind of navigate around it and maybe enlighten you as to if this is something that is right for you. I'd say the first thing that you'll notice about the unit is its sleekness. There's only a handful of buttons. There's one volume knob and a power button. And the power button isn't even really a button. The minimalist nature of this is something that I really enjoy. So coming from something like the Kemper, which has a million buttons and knobs all over it, it's just very um, non-intuitive. Whereas from the moment that I turn this thing on, everything is right there. It's super easy to figure out. I didn't even have to look in the manual. The other nice thing about this is that it has a nice big display. You can see everything very clearly. You can see what your, what your preset here is and you can see all of your effects right here. The other great thing is that this is a touch screen. So all of these are your effects. Let's say you want to take your pitch shifter and you want to move it. You can just pick it up and move it. And if you want to move it after or before anything, you just drag it along your chain, tap it to change things. This is your amp. So you have all of your settings right here and you can see that all of these buttons all correspond to all of these. So while you can go in and drag these up and down to your liking, which is kind of weird to do, um, these buttons also turn corresponding to each of their lights, which is very, very sick and something that I did not know I needed until I started playing with it. And now that I've messed around with this, I it's almost like, why would anybody do anything differently than this? It's very simple. You can see, you can go in and change the device, copy it, assign to expression pedal, or you can remove it entirely. You don't have to go looking for things. And I think that's a big, part of what I love about it is it's so simple. It takes no time to learn. So if I wanna go in here and change my amp, so you can see you have all of your devices here on the left. You can go in here and these are all the amps you have. So right now we're on the 5153. And that sounds fucking great. Didn't have to do anything. I think the Freeman is the Marshall. So we have Marshall, we have the 6505 lead. Sounds great. And then you have all of these other ones that I have not played with because I got stuck on the very first one and I haven't strayed from that. I also have only had this for a week. I haven't had a whole lot of time to really mess around with it. I also haven't needed to change anything because I just love the way that it sounds right out of the gate. If you want to change your cab, you can just click on the guitar cab. If you've used anything like an amp sim plugin, this is gonna be the same thing where you can change your mics, you can change the distance. The mic is to the center of the cone. You can change uh, the two different types of mics. If you want just one mic, if you want to blend sounds, you can do that, which is really nice. If you want to add a delay, 
you can go in. So to add something, all you have to do is click on, so there's any number of blocks that you can add. But let's say you wanna add a delay, that's reverb. Okay, so let's do a digital delay. And again, uh, all of these correspond to all of the different settings on this. And to toggle it on and off, you just press your uh, stomp. The other really cool thing about this is that you can assign your stomps to whatever button that you want, which I think is pretty standard. However, you can assign multiple effects to one button. If that's possible to do on a Kemper, I've never figured it out. The very cool thing is you can assign amps the same way. So if you want to do anything with your inputs or outputs, you can click and hold on the input and it brings up this menu. If you want to click and hold the output, it brings up this menu. Same thing with, um, so instead of swiping up for your stomps, you can swipe down and this is all of your output settings. Currently this is in stomp mode. If you want to, they have three different things. They have stomp mode, they have preset mode, and they have scene mode. Um, I haven't dove too far into these, so I'm not sure exactly what scene is in comparison to the other two, uh, but stomp is like it sounds. You have control over each button and each effect as if it were a, a pedal board for live. And then you can go up and down and cycle through your different effects, or sorry, your different banks as you would on something like a Kemper. And so that's really nice because you can have a full, I think there's 32 presets per bank and there's, or maybe that's wrong. Sorry, there's eight presets per bank and you have 32 banks. So you have a, a ton of options. You can save a million different things if you want to. The other one is preset mode. So if you don't typically do a lot of stomping, you're now assigning each of those presets to each knob. That's pretty much it. Your tuner's here, just press and hold. And there you go, tuner's right there super easy just press it to go back it's not every day that you come across something that inspires you to want to play and will also get out of your way whereas something like the kemper can be a pain in the ass if you have ever used one i didn't realize what the kemper was lacking until i started playing on this and there's this sort of realness to the way that the sound responds to when you're playing. And I didn't realize that the Kemper didn't have that until I started playing on this. And this feels and has that kind of response as if you're actually playing through an amp. And like I said, at the end of the day, you wanna use something that's gonna inspire you to play. And I have not one time felt inspired to play using a Kemper. I plugged this in for 10 minutes the first time I had it. Had no intention of really doing anything or diving into it. And I ended up sitting here and playing with it for, I think probably over two hours. I turned it on, played it for five minutes and sent Logan, our sound guy, this text about how amazing it sounded. And Connor, our guitar tech, he has the other unit right now. And he said the same thing to me. So I think to get that kind of reaction really says a lot about a product, especially when it's something that's so easy to use and so intuitive to navigate around. Very excited. I can't wait to uh, play around with this more and figure out uh, a cool live tone. So yeah, so if you are looking for something new, you're looking for something portable and light, I mean, this thing is less than five pounds. It's really, really portable. It's something that I could see being really, really useful to have for live travel. Yeah, I hope that this was helpful to some of you. I know I didn't play th play around through a lot of it, but like I said, I'm still kind of learning the ins and outs and trying to mess around with the different amps and see which one 
uh, each does. That is the quad cortex in a very, very quick nutshell. Happy to be here in 2023 and doing something new, something fresh. And I hope that this was informative for you guys and I will see you on the next one. Lost my pick. <laughs>